three years older than Nuni. Nuni was born October 3rd, 1994 in Kenya. I was born November 29th, 1991 in Ethiopia. My parents, there was a, quite the war that was going on at the time. The government was pretty corrupt. So the safest thing to do for not just my parents, but a lot of the individuals who were living in uh, Ethiopia at that time was to leave the country. What is happening in Ethiopia right now needs to be addressed in the strongest possible terms. Ethiopia is potentially on the verge of civil war and or genocide, and we need to be, or we need to, we are in the position to stop it, but only if we do something more than really rate concerns or call on the Ethiopian government to make genuine improvements. So a lot of individuals, they try to make the leap and walk all the way to Kenya because again, that's where a lot of refugees were heading because it's the safer alternative for again, to eventually get your paperwork uh, to come to America. Uh, so when we walked over, we actually had Nuni at the refugee camp. So my parents, again, they walked over 300 miles barefoot, no papers, no iPhone, Google Maps, none of that. Uh, and they walked again to, to Kenya uh, during that time, we were actually imprisoned uh, because, again, we didn't have any documents and there was a lot of illegal individuals and uh, refugees also that were just floating around. Uh, luckily, my mom uh, knew a lady from the United Nations. Uh, and so when the UN at the Nairobi uh, in Kenya, they were talking to us trying to figure out who we were, they called back to Ethiopia to figure out who we were and they were actually able to, to link up with some individuals there who actually were classmates of my mom. Uh, and then being my mom's classmate, they were able to vouch to say, hey, we know this lady, they're from here. We know that, that, that entire family and those group of individuals that you guys have locked up in prison there. Uh, so that actually helped us out. We were able to get out of the prison, uh, uh, in that refugee camp. And the refugee camp was very, very uh, tough conditions, barely any food, they had to weigh our food. Um, also, barely any water. Uh, the living conditions were tough, it's hot, humid. Again, there's no air conditioning, none of that. Uh, back in Africa. The camp serves refugees who are forcibly displaced from their home countries due to war or persecution. Established in 1992 to serve Sudanese refugees, it has since expanded to serve Somali, Ethiopian and other Great Lakes region refugees. According to UNHCR, the camp population stands at 61,285 refugees. Our, uh, our process was able to come through uh, to come to America. Uh, during that time, we had to take uh, medical tests. Uh, so to come to America, obviously you have to you know, qualify in every region. Uh, my dad, he wasn't able to pass all of the tests, so he actually had to stay in Africa uh, that entire time and pretty much had a vouch that Nuni, myself, and my mom should go out without us. So he was able to, to, to come with the grasp of knowing that, hey, if I send her off with my two boys, I think she's gonna do a good enough job where She'll take care of both of them, and ironically, her taking care of us got him here uh, last year, November 29th, on my birthday. So.